wrote my jokes down so I don't forget them. And I think I wrote enough down for five minutes. <laughs> hey! It's time for me! <laughs> the word, brilliant. Right, we did all right. Yeah. My name's Ryan Hunter. I'm originally from Manchester. And then I moved down to Maystone half of my life. Up north half of my life, down south. I've lived both sides of the north-south divider. Which is brilliant because when my uh, aunt Doc, she's from Manchester, she's fucking aggressive, like fucking top of it, man, I'm like, fucking, 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 fucking southerners, fucking southern jesses. I can go, actually, aunt Doc, I've seen you made yourself in a casserole dish. <laughs> South is better than North, mother. No, it's mother. She's not my mom. She's my auntie. So um, yeah. Oh, I went to see my uh, visit my family up in Manchester and um, went to Asda, I was, I was bursting from poo, you know how it is. Went to the toilets and I'm uh, sat in the cubicle just minding my own business, uh, having a poo. Um, ignore that, it's nothing to do with you. And the um, bloke walks in, right, and he comes and sits on my face. Now he comes sits in the cubicle next to me and there's that awkward silence of him on doing his belt and who's going to poo first? <laughs> Splash, do what it down to silent splash. Oh god, shit. <laughs> Suddenly, in all the silence, he just goes, You're right, mate. <laughs> what do you do? Like, Yeah, not bad, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. What are you not to? Fuck, he's having a conversation with me in this fuck. So, yeah, not, not, not much yourself. And then suddenly he replies, Sorry, mate, can I just call you back? I think, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Never proved faster, I swear, out of that place. <laughs> Shop, buying stuff for uni, mum, dad, and dot. Where the fuck brought her fucking cheese and onion pasty on her face? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I'd use the trolley and I'd take the trolley down in the lift. They could go down in the stairs, mainly because I've not needed the fucking exercise. <laughs> so I go with me on this one, right? And I'm pushing the trolley in the lift, right? Door shut on my own, boom, going down. I can't describe to you, right? How much of an itchy ass I got, right? It was one of those. Fucking hell, that's fucking itchy, right? I'm trying to get my arm down, I can't get it down, so I'm doing my belt and I'm in and I'm, oh yes, God! And then shit, I've got my whole finger up my arse. Like my whole finger, like more than is naturally acceptable, right? So I'm thinking, shit, 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 I've actually got shit on my finger. Like, oh, shit. Things, right? And then suddenly I'm realising the lift's getting to the bottom. So I think, fuck, 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 I'm trying to do my belt up and boom, the door's open and dark, mum and dad pissing themselves. Fuck. I just look like a romping teenager that's trying to whack one out of the lift. <laughs> so I kind of grim and bear it and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what are you fucking laughing at? Turn around, CCTV image of me fingering myself in the lift. <laughs> I know, I know what you're thinking, all oh, Catholic, all oh, Northern Ireland Catholic priest, paedophilia, yeah. I don't really like to talk about it, it's a, it's a bit of a uh, touchy subject. <laughs> 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 no, but honestly, right, true story, you've got to believe me. My Catholic priest discovered this year he was a paedophile, right? Honest to God, I was one of the chief altar boys when I was younger. He was such a lovely bloke. He took me uh, and the other altar boys to the local parish faith a few years back. He treated all of us. Treat one of us to a bag of sweets, the other to a cupcake, me to a good bummy. <laughs> and um, no, he, he was such a lovely bloke, and the, and the secretary found it out. He found all the images, and it was, it was awful. And before all this came out, of his cock and onto my face, um, <laughs> no, before this came out, I was regularly staying around his house. Honest, truth, honest. I was always playing PS2, eating pizza, staying up late. Honest to God, and it was awful. And I know what you're thinking shit, this bloke has been touched by a priest on stage and is using it to release the tension. <laughs> I can Gary to categorically tell you he didn't, right, okay? You're thinking, oh, he must be relieved. He didn't, you know, he slipped through the net. But almost the part of me is thinking, why didn't he touch me? <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm 
sat there in my sleeping bag, right, watching him in the corner getting a bit rocky.